Hey. You should have done yourself favor and died while you had chance, Kroshka. Great. Mm. Where are you going? If you can move, leave. Trouble never comes alone. Right. Roger that, Rasputin. I'll get right the fuck out. But I didn't. I couldn't. Where was I gonna go? So we came to an understanding. He would put up with me just as long as I pulled my own weight. And that was my shitty start to six long months. It's been about eight weeks now since I lost track of Claire. The old man pulled my battered ass out of the wreckage and patched me up. As for the bracelet, mine never changed color. And I never turned into one of those things. Lucky me, right? As soon as I was back on two legs, the old guy told me I had help with hunting. Basically, it was on me to kill my own food. House rules. Can you use gun? Uh, more or less? Good. You collect on bullets. You run out, not my problem. Look, I get it. I won't be a burden. When hunt is finished, you go to sawmill entrance deep in forest. The big gate. I remember. It's very important you get there by sundown. Otherwise, monsters will have Kroshka for dinner. Yum, yum, yum. Well, thanks for scaring my appetite away. I help you, now you help me. Get this beautiful ass <laughs> on the pain. Yeah, yeah, let's get this hunt on the road before you die of old age. Fuck, I hate using guns. Stop whining, keep working. You need wash the mouth out. All right, Barry. I know I have to eat, but poor thing. You will get used. Eat those insects if you remember to. I 
I think that's a really great idea. I'm not going to try. The ghost hunts for the fool. Snake, rat, hair. Maybe you find a wild hamburger. Girl petticoats, so it doesn't get dirty. When you are gone, it's on date. Yes, sir. I thought that was it. I couldn't take another second of getting muscled around by some man who thought he knew better than me. Why don't we find a way off the island, I asked. Yet, he said. No point. You need face reality. His house, his rules. But I wasn't about to give up hope. Not yet. All I kept thinking was... All I kept thinking about was my dad, actually. That night, I had a dream Barry was on his deathbed. He looked really sad. Nobody was with him. <laughs> Nobody to nag. He had no fire left. Woke up. 
I realized I'd been crying. Really fucked up. The old man made me promise not to go out at night, but all we did during the day was hunt. I wanted to look for a way home, you know? But I ended up leading those freaks right to our doorstep instead. And everything went straight to shit. You bring them here. You make them go away. I'm sorry, just help me out!
thinking. You want to destroy everything before court. You will never go home. The old guy was pissed. Can't blame him, considering I almost cost us our hideout. He told me to face reality, to focus on surviving. And I should have listened. So I promised myself I would do better, work harder. As long as the island was stronger than I was, there would never be any escape. Around the six month mark after the tower collapsed, a new kind of monster entered the picture. Whatever it was, it started killing all the game on the island. You can imagine what that did to our how fucked are we rating. It was the old man's idea to ramp up our hunting. Better to stockpile it than watch it all burn, you know? Remember that before sundown, island becomes more dangerous. That doesn't leave us a lot of time. When you have what you need, meet me by slope leading into first. I will check situation from above. <coughs> Be careful, Kroshka. Yeah, yeah. You too. Another one of these fuckers? You must not let it see you. But what if it does? Run. Absolutely do not try fighting. Okay. Okay, this should cover us. Better head back. Mixed in with the supplies, we found a document. It was a list of islanders who had been taken away to the mines to become test subjects. When the old man saw it, his face turned white as a sheet. Irina, he whispered. It was one of the names on the list. I found out later that Irina was his missing daughter. <laughs> 